We are with Tim Sackett at HRU Tech, and today we're talking about how employees want future employers to communicate with them. And you guys actually did a study. Yeah. And there are some there are some interesting numbers with this. Yeah, we actually took a look at like the the last 1,600 people we've interviewed here, and we sent out surveys and like got I mean we 1,600 responses, so we interviewed way more than that, but. It was interesting to see how candidates, because we tend to, to want to communicate to a candidate in a certain way, mm -hmm. how we're comfortable. Right. And, and for most employers, that's through email. Um, but even all kinds of different things. Like they, empl employees said 75% of these people said, we want to know what the salary is before we even apply. So put that on the job posting. Mm -hmm. And yet most employers still do not put that on, on and the And we've talked posting. about that in the yeah. past. I'm with that group. Put that information there because we're wasting everyone's time if, if you know, you want a, an expected salary and you're not even close. The funny thing was we, I, we followed it up with, well, would you tell your employer or the future potential employer how much you're making? Only 10%. So one out of 10 said they would. Mm -hmm. So they want to know, but then they also don't want to know. And there's, there's a lot of pay equity issues with that as well, because we know, you know, between males and females, you know, males will, will tend to like ask for more than a female would. So it's like, hey, if I'm only making 50 and this position says it's going to pay 55, then I would ask for 55, where somebody else might do more. So, there, right. so there's some psychology behind that. The other piece is we assumed, because we, there's such a high level of text messaging that goes back and forth. Easiest way to get a hold of somebody. Everybody today right. Right, uses it. And so we asked, OK, hey, what, what form of communication, email, phone calls, text messages, whatever that might be, smoke signals, <laughs> you know, how can we get somebody, how can you would best reply? Yeah. Across the board, 85% said, do not text message me about a job the first time. Really? So it's, they see it, and we saw that like, we, there was definitely breaks on age. So we kind of saw it as Gen Z, young millennials were like, hey, don't slide into my DMs unless <laughs> I know you, right? Right. And that's just like your dad thing it's to like say. Their, well, <laughs> it's like their personal space. So For yeah, sure. Yeah. But mm -hmm. then as soon as you had that contact, then they were like, oh, cool, no, I only want to communicate via text. Mm -hmm. So it was this weird thing. Now, so we go, because I've been telling your, you know, employers for years, like, no, just text candidates, text candidates, cross the board, everybody would prefer that. This data said no. But then when we pulled our own data on terms of response rate, 10 times more responses via text message the first time versus email. So they're telling us one thing, yeah. but the reactions are completely different. This is why it's so confusing. Yeah. Also, they want to be reached at certain times of the day, right? Yeah. And I, I, thought, I thought that was interesting, too, because it was early morning, mid-morning. So, hey, before I really get into my work day, mm -hmm. would rather, there's a higher response rate there, t contact me then. Don't contact me at night or dinner time. Like, they don't want that. And they also, you know, it was a real huge no-no, don't call me at work. Yeah. Which, yeah. that's pretty typical. That's been that way for a long that time. That makes sense. Don't yeah. call them at night, they're making TikTok videos. Exactly. They don't want to be bothered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, any other interesting information that you got with all of this? It, it, I mean, it's, it's, crazy yeah. how, when, and how, and all of that So there, stuff we, we went to the turn-offs, turn-ons, right? Mm -hmm. So what what about a recruiter reaching out to you would it would get you most interested or turn you off about that job? And so often, recruiters are reaching out to candidates on a job that doesn't pay them in the range they should or is underneath their career level. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's part of that is, is like just a kind of a reminder to employers to say, hey, do your research before reaching out because they, that was a huge turnoff for them when a recruiter reached out and said, oh, I have this great job, it pays 40000 and they were already making fifty. Yeah. Now you go, well, how do you know that? Sometimes you don't, but a lot of times on career level we do. We're saying, oh, hey, I want to call you about this programmer job, and you know this person's a senior programmer now, why would they want to take a step backwards? Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, good information. Guess we got some texting to do, right? For sure, right? <laughs> Don't call me. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for the information Thank today, you. Tim. Stick around. We've got more coming up on Studio 10.